there's still time to change the channel or go to bed or do something, uh, anything besides watch this show. So in the next couple of seconds, do that. Ooh, do you need a comb to set, get ready for the show? I got a curler back yeah, there. Yeah, we can, we can set you up. What do you, what do you need, like some yeah, lotion? Or I don't have any hairs, you guys. You guys should, okay, you you guys should do some jokes thing? about me being bald. Yeah. We're having laughs in a van. Is that the name of the show? Laughs it's in a van. It's actually Baldy McBaldface. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, cool. That's better than Fatty McEscobar. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Barstool Van Talk. Uh, oh, nailed it. Yeah. Welcome to Barstool Van Talk. I'm Big Cat. This is PFT. What's up? We're two guys that started a podcast about 18 months ago called Part of My Take. It quickly shot to number one in the charts, not to brag. Mm. Hey, PFT, what does one million daily podcast listeners get you? Oh, it gets you a coveted 1 a.m. time slot on ESPN2. Ooh, so here we are, 1 a.m., ESPN2. The deuce. A little background about us. We started that podcast because we like sports, we like fun, we like to joke about ourselves and joke about sports media. And it's funny that we actually are on ESPN now because when we started that podcast, the first thing that happened was we got a cease and desist from this very network. That's right, but fortunately, me and Big Cat are two legal beagles, so we wrote them back a nasty letter of our own. We cease and desisted them yeah. and said, you cease and desist, cease and desisting me. Mm -hmm. And they were like, wow, these guys really had their shit together. So ESPN has trusted us with a TV show at that coveted 1 a.m. time. They did not let us do it live. So before we get to some highlights in our interview with Scott Van Pelt, we're going to do a little choose-your-own-adventure on the sports that happened tonight. Yep. So, uh, PFT, let's start off. The Astros and the Yankees played a game. Mm -hmm. Who won? Yeah, who the cares? Yeah, okay. Dodgers and Cubs. I'm a Cubs fan. The Cubs won in a walk-off grand slam. Anthony Rizzo, crazy. Everyone was drunk. It was the greatest game of all time. I think you just cursed them. I think the Cubs are now cursed again for the next 108 years. Uh, all right, what about Kyrie versus LeBron? Big game. Huge game, so Kyrie returns to uh, Quicken Loans Arena, the Q, the Big Pyramid Scheme, mm -hmm. and uh, I, my guess is that they probably had some sort of a triple kiss situation with Dwayne Wade, LeBron James, and Kyrie at half court just smooching during the game, setting a tremendous example for sportsmanship for the kids at home. I think we've been right with all three of our predictions here, but I'll give you an alternate ending on this one. LeBron actually sat this game out and spent the entire three hours subtweeting Kyrie from the locker room. Ooh, good take. So one of the perks for being on ESPN is that we got to go up to Bristol and kind of screw around and check everything out. Yeah, we smelled Chris Berman's seat. Bucket S list. Still on my mustache. Mm -hmm. You're not getting that out. Mm. Don't want to. Is this it? This is Boom and TJ's place. This is prime time. So cool. <laughs> this is Boom. That's TJ. Oh my god. You wanna go? Let's do it. Right. 
Welcome to the Barstool Van Talk Studio. This is the place we're gonna be when we don't wanna be in the van anymore, slash it breaks down. And as you can see, we have not really moved in yet. So Minimalist. We got yeah. a lot to go. We are bloggers, we come from the internet. This has like a mom's basement kind of feel. We're gonna add to this set as, as the show goes on as long as we don't get canceled. Yeah, so uh, just a little note to all you viewers out there. If you see the sock on the door, <laughs> probably wanna stay this clear. Basement's are rocking, yeah, don't come a knocking. Just doing some love making. Some self time. To ourselves. Some self improvement. Hey, PFT. Hey, Big Cat. Hey, remember when you were growing up and you got to watch highlights on TV all the time? Yeah, geez, you remember when ESPN used to play sports? Yeah, remember when you didn't know who won the game till the next day? Yeah, let's go back to that time and forget all the technology that we have at our fingertips. So this is going to be guy lights. We're giving it to you, dudes. We're giving it to these dudes. Every dude out there hey, watching, we're going to give it to you. Hey, we're going to give you stuff and you're going to take it. Chug this highlight right mm -hmm. now. <laughs> guy lights. It's two-day old sports highlights. Aaron Rodgers, broken collarbone. Yeah, good Ooh. point. Yeah. Ooh. Do you think that uh, the fact that Aaron Rodgers isn't close with his family means he wasn't breastfed? So Yes. Well, he wasn't breastfed to a proper age of like seven or eight, so mm -hmm. he's got brittle bones, lack of calcium. Saints-Lions, a lot of defense being played. I feel like these two teams play each other like five times a year and they each score 50 points every game. We should just actually just put the Saints and the Lions in the Big 12. That's yeah. where their home is. Be careful, Golden. I feel like he's gonna get hurt one of these days. I also don't like the fact that he's got three on his back, so I, 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 like bragging that his grandfather had sex. It's like, we mm -hmm. get it, dude. Your grandfather, he slayed. Ryan Fitzpatrick, he went to Harvard. Yeah, people don't talk about the fact that he is a Harvard College graduate. Mm. And there he is using the Pythagorean theorem to find the pylon, that was nice. What I think is awesome is the, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers went from Jameis Winston to Ryan Fitzpatrick, which is like Florida State to Harvard, is like going from reading a pop-up book to reading James Joyce. Yes. You think what I'm thinking? What? New buddy cop. That would be a good one. Yeah. Either that or it's just uh, seafood for that, that. Either that or it's just seafood for that. Yeah. Either that or it's just seafood theft. Like Are you serious? Like I said. Either that or it's just seafood theft. Are you serious right now? <laughs> say it, you didn't say that? Seafood theft. I can't say it. Seafood, seafood theft. What's going on with you? You, you said it. Seafood theft. Seafood theft. There you go. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> that was weird. We got Big Ben against the Chiefs. Now look at Big Ben, his face here. Look at this. He's an all-time fat face guy, one of the only people to uh, ever get a concussion from putting on a helmet. Has he? Has Big Ben uh, fixed his broken nose? I feel like his nose is just permanently broken. No, he just wears a different hat. He puts on a weirder fedora to distract from his face. Yes, maybe that's slick. I missed the slick back. The, we call that the booger Big Ben, uh -huh. when he looked like a big booger. He looked like a guy that was going to kidnap puppies. Yeah. We go to the Baton Rouge. Coach O. Coach o does not know how to cross himself that, off. That's fine, though. Like, if you're a football guy, you just see other people on the football fields doing the cross, and that's <laughs> fine. And so, like, I love more than anything seeing Coach o happy after a win. Mm -hmm. It's like you, you watch it and you just start weeping when he smiles. I actually think, now that I'm looking this at again, uh, Coach o can actually talk to God. He actually looked right at God. He looked in God's eyes. He's like, thank you. Thank, thank you, God, for letting me win this game, let me run this ball, and let me go Tigers. Dear Lord, in your name, in Heavenly Father, in your name, we're going to pour this extra pot of gumbo out for you. Go Tigers. Come down here and get you some Sunday supper. Yeah, and go Tigers. And go Tigers. Thank you for being a member of the Tiger family. Yeah, God is, good. God is a Tiger. Always been a Tiger. <laughs> Little jambalaya. Go Tigers. Ooh, Tommy. Ooh, Tommy with the quote saying, he, nothing gets a team going like a good old suicide threat. Tommy is essentially taking himself hostage yes. for this playoff series, which I, I almost respect that. You got to win one for the old guy. We met Tommy, actually, when we were down at spring training, and he might have been trying to commit suicide then because he was walking around with a big <laughs> fistful of turkey. He was raw-dogging some turkey. He's rolling it up. He looked like he was just going to walk out the facility and just never turn back. That's fine. I think it would be fitting in for Tommy. He's the only guy I could actually imagine dying by walking into a sunset. Yeah, he just maybe walks into the woods and finds a nice warm log and just lays lays by it with all the mm -hmm. ants and the little critters mm -hmm. and just uh, maybe munches on a little turkey and mm -hmm. then death passes over him. So better win, Dodgers. <laughs> all right, coming up after the commercial, we have Scott Van Pelt in Vandy Woodhead. That's right, we're in Bristol, Connecticut. And uh, the ESPN, they put some tune out. They let the outdoor cats come inside. So we just, we came inside the mothership. Ooh. Let's okay. see, let's make it really not uncomfortable. Ooh, I hit my head. Scott Van Pelt. Hi. 
the first ever episode of Barstool Van Talk. Thanks Charles. for tidying up around here. Here's a good question, Scott. So you've been at ESPN for Love good it questions, feels like brother. forever. It's a great question. Um, mm-hmm. You were here when the Deuce was the Deuce. The Deuce. So we're trying to bring that back to Deuce. Um, besides like the leather jackets, because uh-huh. those look super cool. Right. Um, what else can we do to bring that 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 Deuce mentality? What I just did, the thing that Greenberg would do when he would do, do that a lot. Deuces. Yeah, boom. Do that because that is cool. Mm. Kids are going to love that a lot. Bad boys. Okay. Well, I was going to say mustaches because Stewart had a mustache back in the day. Mm-hmm. I mean, you. Uh, I mean, there it is. Like that? That's Can't what really I do. Right. I try to get the Me? people going. I just go a little that. Uh-huh. That's and that's cleaning myself and up. And you know what that is right there? Yeah. A deuce. Yeah, yeah that's the deuce. Ooh, Boom. I didn't even realize. I'm too dumb to realize what I was doing the deuce all along. So I think mustaches, uh, doing a lot of this stuff, uh-huh. and and the leather jackets is a great is okay. a great a start. This mustaches, stuff. gang signs, and yep. yeah. basically act like we're in West Side Story. Yeah, yeah, and then do a lot of Barstool do a Van lot. Van ta- Barstool Van, Van talk. Barstool Van, Van, Van talk. Barstool Van talk. Come in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like that. yeah little no, set. rap lyrics. Like rap lyrics. Kids, it, this is late night. Kid, you got to do a lot of rap hey, lyrics. We're, Whether you hey, know what they mean a, or not. Hey, kids, get in the van. van. We're two guys <laughs> trying to give you some candy. Yep. No. Boom. Done. <laughs> All right, got it. Okay. Should we be wearing suits? No. no. Why not? Well, look at you. You're like such a journalist. No, I'm not. It's look just at me. It's re- look at him. You look like you're going to court. How many pounds does the camera add to you? Because I need, I feel like I could put on some weight. You're kind of a string bean guy. Mm-hmm. Kind of. So in, in person, it looks like maybe the camera puts on like 30 extra pounds on your frame? Roughly, roughly. So people are gonna people are gonna have you pegged as like a nose guard. Okay, ooh, I'll take mm. that. Like a Don Terry Poe type. A yeah. nose guard. The guy from the Dolphins that coach could have used a nose guard. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. Yeah, I got a real question for you. What has changed at ESPN and how do you deal with like the evolution and things changing and people saying, oh, I don't like this, I used to like this, and kind of the sellout thing? Well, what has changed is that we're sitting in the satellite lot and I'm talking to two guys from Barstool in a van. Mm-hmm. True. Yep. That's what has changed. True. You guys know this better than anybody. Content is king, and if you have content, then you end up in a van uh, on the deuce at, yeah. at 1 a.m. If letting somebody, people peruse. If somebody just comes up to you and says, hey, Scott, I loved you on part of my take, mm-hmm. and then they walk away, mm-hmm. be honest, under your breath, you're like, no, I just, I, it's just. You hate us. We have a TV show that we're on. Mm-hmm. So it's like, if what you time like. Is it? Yeah. It's, it's midnight. It's, if, if you like. They give out if, a bunch of losers. It's called, it's called, sports, it's called sports Center. My right? friends love sports. I'll have to talk yeah. about that. Yeah, always yeah. has so been. So it's a center sports. of sports? It's, it's the worldwide leader. It's the, it's, epi- weird. it's the epicenter. So you guys of, play sports? We did long ago. Okay. Okay, good. All right. Long so ago. what position do you play? Uh, right now, I play old man in a van. How are you doing with Twitter trolls? I'm trying. Okay. I know you're trying. What about gambling Twitter trolls? Because that's a special breed. That's that's where I'm not doing. I, I'm I'm doing as well with Twitter gambling trolls as I am with my picks, which is to say, not very well. Okay. okay. You never take favorites. I don't. You've I said you this to me about, before. Yeah. Thirteen underdogs. Yeah, yeah, and the worst teams. You yeah. take the worst teams. I sure do. They make your stomach like turn when you yep. put in the bet. So maybe this week it's just all favorites, just Ooh. Chalky McChalkerson. Yes. We just lay them. How like about that. that? Sometimes you gotta do it. No, there's a whole bunch of dogs I like this week. Yeah. Do Mount Rushmore? Yeah, let's do some Mount Rushmore. So we're still new to this TV mm-hmm. game. Mm-hmm. You wanna do the Mount Rushmore of words that you can't say on ESPN? Okay. Um, I guess they just beep it and, and pixelate my mouth. Yeah. Right? Yeah, sure. Whatever. Yeah. So that's okay. that word you cannot say. All. What about what about head? See that now that you can't do. You can't say fudgy because that's too close to the first one. Mm. Really? I yeah. heard Rex Ryan say. Folks, yeah. the other day, and they were like, they had their finger on the button, like, ah, oh, is he gonna say, what the folks? With Rex, mm-hmm. I think they were just concerned he was gonna go, feet. Yeah. Oh, and so dude. They were hey, right everybody's got going, stuff. Yeah. Everybody's yeah, got yeah, their I got, Oh, I got some stuff. Yeah, we got a lot yeah. of stuff. Bruce's. We're in a okay. band. Um, and then the last one is, uh, it's disc, but that's bulging disc. Hurst has been playing with a bulging disc in his neck. <laughs> the Mount Rushmore of sellouts. Well, I mean, obviously, here you are on ESPN. Mm-hmm. You've you've abandoned the tawdry, uh, dark, dark web. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say Big Cat, PFT, Hank. Hank, yeah. Clearly, mm-hmm. you know who else? Ooh. Metallica. Ooh. Sell out every seat every night. Oh, baby. I get it. We talked to a first grade class, Mrs. Winters' first grade class. Mm-hmm. Hi, Mrs. Winters. Um, we had the little ones, the little tykes right now, yeah. some questions uh, for you. Real questions. They're, they're precocious. This is from Timmy. Hey, Timmy. Uh, he said, you make my daddy gamble so much that he sold my soccer cleats and now I can't play sports. Mm. Wow, I'm sorry, Timmy. 
Tell Daddy uh, to stay away from the exotics and trust the process. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just trust the process. Yeah. Keep keep taking those terrible teams. To gamble more. So we're real journalists. You're just a fake one. What journalists do when they don't have good questions, this mm-hmm. is going to be a tip for you when you okay. do interviews. If you don't have a good question, you just say talk about. All oh, right. So this is the segment talk about. Blah, 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 blah. I like that So we're going to show you some pictures, and you're just going to talk about them. Okay. Ooh. All right. Mm. Look at that handsome That's guy. That's Scott Van Pelt with hair. Oh, wait. Yep. Really? Okay, so here's, here's what... Okay, oh, yeah, so, it is you. Next oh, picture's up. Oh, that's uh, that's Fat Van Pelt. Mm-hmm. And, it's you. Um, it's you. Yep, it yep. is, obviously, before many gastric bypass and other mm-hmm. surgeries. Next picture. All right. Oh. <laughs> I can't see from over here. What does it say? So it says well, Wisconsin 50. Say? Yeah, why don't you say it? It's, uh, that's Wisconsin 52, Maryland 7. Mm. That was the first time we played you in uh, the Big Ten, uh, mm-hmm. in which we are a member of that conference. And this is a great game that we invented. It's called uh, Holy Crap, This Guy Looks a Lot Like Scott Van Pelt. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, wow. That's a segment so, we yeah. should try. Yeah. Rapid fire, mm-hmm. give us uh, what, how close they look to like Scott Van Pelt, okay. 1 to 10. No, okay. no, a scale of 9 to 10. 9 to 10. 9 to 10. Yeah. 9 to 10. Here we go. Rapid fire. 10. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep, 10. Uh, more of a 9. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. Why, why is that, yeah, Scott? That was a 9. Well, because the other ones look more oh. like me than that one. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Get it? Yeah. Yeah, bald it's eagle. Hair. Yeah. Mm. About that one. That was good, huh? That one's a good one. What are we doing? Yeah, it's got, it's it's got, it's got this, you guys, a, a stunning yeah. similarity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Scott Van Pelt, you thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, we appreciate it. We got you a parting gift. Oh, yeah. I thought it was Yeah, that. so we're going to, so, no, we're going to walk out. We're pretty oh. We wrapped it for you, and we're going to give you a parting gift. All right, All right Thanks, let's go. Yeah. Watch oh. your head. Yep. Oh. We're good. Oh, there, oh, lovely. Hey, Hank, how are you, buddy? Hank. I said you're a sellout. Can you unwrap it for for us so that everyone can see what we gave you? It's pretty nice. Yeah. So Be careful. It, oh, it's a, it's a window unit yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's oh, take that's that a, with you. It's used. It's so got. It oh, that's great. All yeah. righty. All right. Bye, Scott. Thanks, Scott. See ya. Love you. Oh. <laughs> you son <laughs> of a. <laughs> 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 my I want to get a. I want to get like a parrot and uh, lock him in a room with Skip Bayless. Like just like TV that just plays Skip Bayless. Um, so the parrot learns to give takes and then we can debate against the bird. I'm not a big bird guy. You don't have to be a bird guy. If you get a bird, you're one step away from being like a lizard guy. And yeah. then next thing you know, you wake up, you got a snake, you got a ferret, things have fallen apart. Let's draw the line snakes, but like ferret, I'm down with the ferret. On the right. What about pigeons? Just like have one around? Instead of birds, like the pigeons are rats basically, right? Mm. What I was thinking was we go to the rat nest mm. and we use the rats to help us pick games. I like that. Maybe maybe we give them like a full dinner. Maybe put on tuxedos like waiters. Welcome to the most beautiful city in the world, the cleanest city in the world, New York City, where we're going to pick some games. That's right. This is Rat Tattooey. We as humans are not good at gambling, but you know who is good at gambling? That's right. God, and so we're gonna entrust his most noble creature, the rat, to select this Thursday night game between the Raiders and the Chiefs. We call this Rat Tout Tui, get it? Mm, that's a good one, that's like a good rat- Ratatouille, but with a tout? Uh, yeah, uh, spay and neuter your rats, folks. Rip Bob Barker, rest in peace. Bob Barker's still alive. Breaking news, Bob Barker's still alive. You saved Bob Barker's life. Okay, here we go. All right, let's see. The Raiders. The Raiders. And the Chiefs. All right, we've got Rat Del Rio against Andy Reid. Let's see how it goes. Hey, what's up? This is Ricky the Rat, and I'm here to give you some Thursday Night Football Ratistics. Oakland is 6-2 and two straight up in their last eight games at home. Home underdogs are 3-1 and one against the spread this year. Although fleas are primarily responsible for infecting humans with a bubonic plague, they were originally infected with the plague by feeding on the blood of rats, just like me. Rat fever, catch it! We are taking the Raiders, we're following the rats, Rat Del Rio and his whole scurry crew. Mm. Um, they're, pretty, they're pretty clear, they like the Raiders. Yeah, so speaking of gambling animals, 
We never introduced our friend. It's Larry the Goldfish. Uh, we bought Larry last year. We've had a few Larrys. It's kind of like Ugga the Bulldog. Larry has entered into the Las Vegas Super Contest. He went 49, 34, and 2 last year. Mm -hmm. He is the smartest goldfish alive, and he is also now an owner of the Green Bay Packers. Look at that. That's right. People forget that the Green Bay Packers sell very real oh, and yeah. very meaningful shares and ownership for the little low price of $500. Oh, can you actually cash in that share? Absolutely not. Oh. And so Larry actually, get, he gets personnel decisions. Yes, yeah, so he's Packers. an owner. He's an owner of an NFL team. So mm -hmm. what is that, Larry? What's that? What's that? Sign Colin Kaepernick? Ooh, ooh. Colin Kaepernick. Ooh, Brett, Brett Favre? Oh, Brett Favre is thrown to underage kids down in Mississippi. He's looking good. His arm's looking good. Oh, okay. Very underage. Uh, that is our show. We are going to finish the show how we finish every Barstool Van Talk. Mm -hmm. We have a box sent in from a watcher, a viewer, a listener. If you want to send us something, listen to Part of My Take, our podcast. On Wednesday, it's released on iTunes. We have more Scott Van Pelt. We will give detailed instructions on how you can send us mm -hmm. a box. What's in the box? Well, as we said, like our set is pretty sparse right now, so I think we're just going to open stuff up, and then we'll just live back here for the yeah. rest of the show. So it's just a ton of rubber bands. Oh, sh it smells. What the hell? This is all. This is a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, look at it. It's what? like a brain. What? What is that? Pick that up. Pick that up. You pick it up. That's what's in the box. Oh, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, it's, I'm out. What is, I'm out. What is that? I'm out. Is that worms? I'm out. No, it's like a fucking octopus or something. It's an octopus. They put an octopus is it in dead? here. Is it dead? They put an octopus in the box. Do not send us this ever again. Please. Ah. Yeah. yeah, it's an octopus. It's actually an octopus. I wasn't kidding. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> See you next week. Send us real stuff. Please don't do this again. Oh, God. You. That's going to set a bad standard. <laughs>